Hello, this is Prios and I'm a professional gambler and today I will comment or give my opinion to a recently made video by Poker Bounty. It's called Shocking Poker Controversy between Nick Riano and Justin Bonnemore. I wonder what this is all about, but uh, we will see in a second. Yeah, but if you enjoy my poker content and if you are also in crypto and investing, please also check out my other channel. It's called Finance, Finance with Axel, where I do investment topics and most of it is about cryptocurrency at the moment, but I'm adding videos on a regular basis. And yeah, let's now, without further ado, get into the video from Poker Bounty and see what this controversy is all about. No, you cannot read it all. Um, I've spent most of my life promoting the game of poker to bring in thousands of people so that this weasel can sit on his couch and make a living. This is a quote of Daniel Negriano. After his soul-crushing defeat against David Peters, Daniel Negriano displayed rage-filled behavior that garnered Justin Bonomo's attention once more. And in return, Daniel Negriano fired back again. Oh, he has a cool... They are the bird now. <laughs> how do you say this? <laughs> okay, let's let's find out uh, how this is uh, pronounced. <laughs> Give me a second. So, Baird. Baird. Okay. Did I say that correct? I'm not sure. But <laughs> anyways, let's continue. It's Banamo creating a poker Twitter war. Here are all the details related to this incident. Last Friday, Daniel Legrano blew his second bullet in event number 50, the $250,000 Super High Roller No Limit Hold'em event. I think this um, video is almost certainly not from the 250k Super Roller because look at how many people these are. This is never ever that, never ever can people, um, can so many people afford to, to play this event. Hyroler No Limit Hold'em event on a runner runner and suffered a bad. I think this probably is some random tournament or the V. v what is it called? WSOP. That's correct. <laughs> WSOP main event or something, but it's not original content. Bad beat against David Peters. The bad beat was such a soul crushing one that Kid Poker slammed his phone in frustration on. That looks like original content. On the way out. The majority of poker players on. <laughs> I, I mean, that's funny. <laughs> Not sure why this is uh, worth a controversy. And also, I mean, Daniel Nigriano tilts very often. I mean, they ha it's how long is it ago? Maybe a year or something? Maybe less? Where he <laughs> was threatening one of his <laughs> for, uh, Twitch followers kill him or at least beat him up badly or something so that's like i mean i i'm i'm not surprised at all that something like this can happen especially if it's a, about so much money and i think recently daniel Rigran is also not doing too well and i'm not sure if he's also sponsored that well so that he has not to pay for this buy-ins anymore social media appeared to understand his frustration given that he lost almost one million dollars for the summer but Justin Bonomo was very critical even going so far as to call the Poker Hall of Famer violent this I mean that's kindergarten <laughs> I mean it sounds like kindergarten what the fuck is he talking about I mean he did not do anything to any of the other dudes and this is like pretty normal I mean if you play like a cash game or something, people range rage all the time when they get a bad beat or if they lost too much. So yeah, don't don't get it. This incident gave Justin Bonamo a reason to publish a poll on Twitter about the six-time WSOP bracelet winner's behavior. Justin Bonamo. If you currently think his behavior is acceptable, would knowing that it makes other people feel viscerally unsafe. Change your mind. Why should anyone feel unsafe? I mean, this is a, a, a little dude who nobody has to be scared of. <laughs> what percentage of people 
Healing this way would it take an acceptable. Okay, but the Twitter poll, I mean, he also. I mean, his wording is not objective, so he's already getting the guys taking part to vote in a certain manner. But yeah, I think it's it's okay. I mean, this dude is just gambling and he's bad at playing poker and that's why he gets angry when he loses. I mean, it's also a lot of money even for Daniel. Daniel. I mean, especially if you take into account that he is also doing crazy and stupid challenges against other guys that are m m way better than him. But he also blew up for 1 million, talking about Doc Pog, if you wonder. Asked people to cast their votes on multiple options he shared in his Twitter post. He went on to tweet that women who want to play poker would feel frightened. I mean, I cannot imagine any male feeling frightened because of that. But yeah, female maybe, but I mean, the most the population of poker players is consistent of men almost exclusively and the few women already have a thick skin and probably they are not scared because of something like that. And I mean, these casinos also have a huge security. There are hundreds of other people in the room, so why should you be scared? Frightened as a result of... He didn't even threaten anyone. He's just smashing the table or something or throwing anything away. So what, what the fuck? Kindergarten this behavior which would impair their desire to play. Negrano began his Day 27 WSOP vlog by defending himself against Bonomo's tweets and he didn't hold back. He fired back saying Justin Bonomo is totally indoctrinated and a lost cause. Bonomo is an outspoken progressive and feminist. He a male feminist. Interesting. His tweets frequently draw criticism from those who hold isn't he a cheater too? Not sure. Wasn't he banned from some online sites for doing something which I don't remember? Different ideologies, much like they would for anybody with strong political or social opinions, but some believe the high stakes pro occasionally takes his call for social justice a bit too far. Yeah, I think so too. He's definitely taking it too far. Livbury also criticized Bonomo for mentioning She's a female. Seems not to be scared. I mean, she probably can can beat up Daniel Rigriano. <laughs> women being unsafe in his tweet to fit a narrative. Negrano moved on to the south. What happened to his well, okay, let's let's do the voice from this one. Baird. Baird. I mean, it looks like he just eat and there's a lot of things still hanging in his feet. <laughs> it's, it's just funny. Object of poker cheating after <laughs> criticizing Bonomo's social Look justice agenda more precisely. Or, or is he just getting gray and s some of his hair looks like that? <laughs> Bonomo's prior history in which he was previously banned from online poker. Ah, oh, there it is. The cheating allegations. I mean, I guess it's not allegations as it's true. <laughs> And confirmed. Multi accounting. In okay, multi accounting. 2006, under screen name Z Justin, Bonomo was banned from PokerStars for multi accounting. Bonomo's multi accounting came into light soon after the revelation that Josh Field had used several screen names, including a black car. Bonomo used a total of six accounts to log into Party Poker. At times, these accounts appeared in the. That's definitely way worse than slamming the table after losing a hand. The same online poker tournament. On February 26, 2006, Lee Jones, then the PokerStars room manager, announced on 2 Plus 2 that Justin Bonomo had been playing multiple accounts in several tournaments at PokerStars and was banned. He was reinstated a few years later after he had confessed and apologized for his past transgressions. This is also pretty unfair, I feel. I mean, people who are famous and a lot of people know about, like, see Justin gets his account back and other not that well-known dudes have no chance to get it back. I mean, I probably never get my SARS account back. I mean, okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not famous at all, so yeah. Fuck this rich, famous dudes that getting 
additional advantages and extra treatments all the time. Since the incident, Banamo has acted as a moral authority on all things good for poker. Banamo criticized Negrano in 2019 when he published several Twitter surveys based on popular opinion, but ironically, Banamo is now found doing the same thing. Daniel Negrano acknowledged in What is this here? You see that? Did he just eat? Or is his hair getting gray? I mean, that's off topic, but still disturbing what's happening here. He should shave it for sure. In his video, that his elimination from the Super High Roller Bowl last week made... I, I, by the way, I love when Daniel Negriano tells. It's, I think it's just funny. I mean, even if he would be mad at me and I would sit right in front of him, I would not be scared. Made him behave like a kid, but he questioned how Banamo could possibly equate the incident to a sexist issue. No cool shirt, no gamble, no future. He wasn't the only one. Many on poker Twitter sided with the GG Poker ambassador and ripped on Banamo for going. True, he's not uh, on stars anymore, but on GG now. I wonder if they pay his buy ins or not overboard for criticizing the behavior. Will Jaffe had perhaps the best analysis of the Negrano rage incident. Uh, you know, there's an issue that needs to be addressed and it's time to have a tough conversation. Basically with anybody that thinks they can tell anybody else how they should behave at the poker table. Because you know what? It's f***ing poker, man. Yeah, I think there are, sh there are some rules, but... Daniel Negriano was still, I mean, he was a bit out of line, but yeah, who cares? I mean, if people lose that much, it is sort of normal that people can get stressed out and freak out, even the pros sometimes. And yeah, I mean, I mean, Daniel Negriano is not a guy known for good emotional control either. It's poker. We're fucking gambling over here. We're not in law school. We're not doctors. We're not lawyers. We're not astronauts. We're f***ing degens. Gambling in Bally's or Paris or whatever the f*** it is this year. And I'm just so sick of everybody saying, oh yeah, I, love, I should love the way Garrett Alistair acts at the table. I mean, it's not good to be a degen, but I kind of agree with this dude. Bro, if I was playing 600-1200 with Bill Klein and seven other whales, I'd, I'd be... My behavior would be A plus too, trust me. I'd be asking them about their wineries, how's the pickleball game going. But I'm not playing with those guys. I'm playing with Billy. And Billy manages a restaurant in Poughkeepsie. And every time I win a 60-40 against Billy, he calls me a So I'm not gonna engage in the same small talk, winery ass bullshit behavior with Billy that I would with Bill. And you shouldn't either. You should do whatever the you want at the poker table, honestly. Where did this notion come from? We should behave a certain way. We should we should tap the table. Just be Justin Bonimo. You know, nice hand. Nice hand. You got it. No, bro. I don't have... I mean, saying nice hand could actually tilt people even more. I mean, if someone is in rage and saying like, fuck, what did you do? I was a favorite. I was supposed to win. And then you say, nice hand. He probably is... <laughs> this is probably not de-escalating the situation. I mean, I think I did it once and, and the guy got really mad. <laughs> 1,700 million in earnings, okay? I'm grinding out here. A lot of us are. And it's just like if you want to smash your selfie stick because some turtleneck master beats you in a big pot in a big tournament, go ahead and smash your selfie stick, bro. Get another one. It's so f***ing ridiculous, man. This video is powered... Yeah, so it was a selfie stick, so it was not even expensive what he was destroying. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Justin Bonomo is out of line here, and it's not that bad what Daniel Negriano did. I mean, it's not even... I mean, even if you think it's not okay, why is he going public with this? This is, this is just laughable. This is a joke. Justin Bonomo is a joke. I mean, Daniel Negriano is too, but... Yeah, okay, but these are my two cents. Probably not worth too much, but anyways, yeah. I never made a video like this. This is more like funny stuff. Not educational. I mean, no, to me it's not much. But I still hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe to all the good uh, 
social media things if you enjoyed it. Yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.